consider this problem. What is the limit as x goes to infinity of the x root of x? Feel free to try this problem. So what would you recommend is our first step here? What's the first thing we need to do in order to solve this problem? What I recommend doing is setting the original expression equal to y. So we have y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of x root of x. Now the next thing that we could do is change the radical into a fractional exponent. This is x to the first power. And so we can write this as, this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of x raised to the one over x. So now, what do you think we should do? Whenever you have a variable raised to another variable, in order to bring this exponent down, you need to use logarithms. We're going to use the natural log. So let's take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to have the natural log of y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of x raised to the 1 over x. And for instance, ln x to the fourth power is equal to 4 times ln x. That's just one of the properties of logs. You could take the exponent and move it to the front. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take 1 over x and move it to the front. And so we're going to have ln y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity, 1 over x times ln x. And we can write that as the natural log of x divided by x. Now, if we were to use direct substitution at this point, we would get the natural log of infinity over infinity, which is infinity divided by infinity. And infinity divided by infinity, you really don't know what that is. That could be infinity, it could be zero, it could be five, it's indeterminate. So whenever you have an indeterminate type, like this one or zero over zero, you can evaluate the limit using L'Hopital's rule, which is what we're gonna do since direct substitution didn't work at this point. And in order to use L'Hopital's rule, we need to take the derivative of the top and the bottom part of the fraction. So we have ln y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity, and the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. The derivative of x is 1. 1 over x divided by 1 is just 1 over x. So now at this point, we could use direct substitution. The limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x is 0. 1 divided by a very large number is going to give us a very small number. So 1 of infinity is virtually 0. So we have ln y is equal to 0. Now, whenever you have a log expression, let's say log base a of b is equal to c, you can convert it into an exponential expression. a raised to the c power is equal to b. Now, the base of a natural log is always e. So we could say e to the 0 power is equal to y. And anything raised to, let me say that again, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So our answer is 1. So y is equal to our original expression, the limit as x goes to infinity of the x root of x. All of that is equal to 1. And so that is our answer. Now let's confirm the answer with the use of a table. So let's say if x is 10, we're going to have the 10th root of 10 or 10 to the 1 over 10. If we plug that into our calculator, 10 raised to the 1 over 10, it's going to give us 
five, eight, nine. Let's see what happens when x gets larger. Let's try 100. So 100 raised to the 1 over 100, that's going to be 1.04713. So notice how the numbers are getting smaller. If we try 1,000, this is going to be 1.00693. And let's try one more, 10,000. So 10,000 raised to the 1 over 10,000. And that's going to be 1.00921. So we can see that as x gets larger and larger, that is, as it goes to infinity, the expression, the x root of x, approaches 1. And so that is the answer to this problem.